Alrighty, got a piece of cherry laurel. A little bit of a crack going through it, so we'll see how well it all holds up. Goal on this is I just want to round it so that I can turn it into something to hold tools. A little bigger than a, a pencil pot, more just a, a tool pot to hold some screwdrivers and whatnot while I'm working. And if all goes well, I may even try for some uh, some thread abuse coming up, so stay tuned. I'm gonna do another one in the top in a little bit, but we'll see. Nice little contrast. Let's see, anything else maybe different? Kind of teal looks neat, but nah. Skip that. Ooh, got some uh, light blue in there too. I suppose I could even put two together. Let's start with one, see how it goes. Alrighty. A little bit of star bond, heavy thin. bit of that in there to start. Along with my thread. Got it actually working a little better now. Found a uh, chopstick to use this little dowel and hold all that. And I filled that up and now I'm just kind of adding a little extra glue on top of everything. Make sure it all stays intact when I come to sand in a moment. It's pretty great stuff. It really is just going on, soaking in, and rolling. Rolling down. That looks, well, that looks pretty good for what it is. There we go. I think I'm going to add a little bit black in there so bear with me just a moment all right there we go a little bit of black medium thick 
just to kind of get that in there and solidify the gap, the, the crack that's formed on this piece of cherry laurel. I know I should be probably using a precision tip. But I'm just being lazy today. In the knots. clog tip back on here we go life is good let's get to sanding alrighty fun tip here a little bit of plumber's abrasive cloth 180 grit but it's got that nice fine mesh available from uh, well, probably hardware stores currently but also available from estate sales and that's all I want is just a little bit of I'd say that's looking pretty good, but since I'm having trouble with my tailstock right now, let's take this over to the drill press and we'll get that going the rest of the way. So I've got a prototype jig set up. I'll have to actually do it a little bit better to go into production with it, but hey, this way I can leave things directly on and it's pretty centered yep Ta -da. it needs to set in a little bit stronger so I'm not fighting it down the road but this is a great start especially for something that's just for me so let's get that going Definitely going to need to work on that a little bit more so that that does not go spinning about. So we'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty. Extra clamp holding it between the two. Won't be able to do it all the time, but we'll try it for this time. Bad first start. Let's get a bigger bit in there and see how deep we can go. Well, that bullion and I didn't didn't work, so it's time to break out the steady rest because, well, heck, it's not a good project unless you bring out almost every tool in the arsenal, right?
Yep, it's definitely every tool in the arsenal. This was too large. The opening I made was too large for my chuck, but too small for those to go in and open. So we're going to tighten it down, hold it in place, take the bottom off. Woohoo! So many toys for one silly little project. of the tools. I already buffed a little bit onto it. Not too worried about the inside because tools go in there. But there we go. I think that turned out pretty good for all the missteps. <laughs> 